see who can get it done here in round nine. Pro spec is underway and Visser just left Van Enelsen standing still. Yeah, Van Enelsen didn't get the memo to hit the gas on that start, so he's gonna be bummed out. He's gonna have to go do a lot of work here early. Visser in control here as they go through the infield. It's Visser, Parsons, Van Den Elzen, Kosiza, and Miller. It's a good battle going on right now between Van Zyl and Miller. Van Zyl might have overcooked it a little bit into turn one. He did, that's gonna let Wyatt Miller sneak on by into fourth. Van Den Elzen still working on Parsons. He goes to the bottom side. There's nothing there like we said earlier. Yeah, not much grip really anywhere, if we're being honest, but especially you get off that cushion. So there was a little bobble by Parsons. That's going to let Van Den Elzen try to pull alongside into turn one. Yeah, you wonder if Parsons having trouble with power steering or something. It just seems like he's struggling to turn that truck in that 99. So the deal is done. Chris Van Den Elzen moves up a spot into second. He will try to hunt down Nick Visser. There you see the interval. We'll find out what the second half holds here in Pro Spec. Visser and Van Den Elzen pretty well evenly matched on this restart right away. Van Den Elzen trying the bottom side. Yeah, and we know how tough that is to get that truck to rotate. Here comes Parsons now. They're door to door. Right away, Visser able to open it back up. Wow, Visser caught another hole that's developing on the entry into turn two and biked it for a brief moment. Really not a lot of line choice right now in turn one. I think Chris just has to stay on the cushion. Oh, and big trouble. Oh, and then he had nowhere to go. They both make contact. And it is bumper cars down there in turn two. Van Den Elden's gonna get shuffled back, and Chris Van Den Elden has a flat left front tire now. Oh, that is horrible for Chris Van Den Elden. Now Wyatt Miller's moving up, and Van Den Elden, that tire's really causing him grief. Oh man, how quickly the tables turned there for Chris Van Den Elzen battling for that win and now trying to get that truck refired. We'll reset it for you. It's Visser up front, Parsons in second, still holding off Wyatt Miller. Just doesn't seem like the same Dylan Parsons we saw yesterday. There goes Miller now to the bottom side. He's gonna try to do a slide job across Parsons. He gets there. That does not look like a kid who's racing in his second ever off-road truck race, I'll tell you that much. But you can tell why he's a Tulsa shootout winner. He knows how to do those slide jobs just like in a sprint car. Back on top of the box is the number 80 from Summit Lake, Wisconsin. How about Wyatt Miller back-to-back -back second place finishes in his off-road truck racing debut. Great weekend for that kid. Parsons across the line in third.